You really need to stop waiting. Stop making excuses. You know, as well as I do, a solo cruise is the right thing to do for you. Stop being frustrated by not finding the right travel partner, not finding the right deal, not being able to go with the right people. It is time to book that solo cruise all on your own. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the top 10 reasons to go on a solo cruise in 2024. And stick around until the end when I share with you my preferred cruise line when it comes to cruising solo. It's an adventure and it awaits you. Let's go. In recent years, solo travel has witnessed a significant surge in popularity and one mode of solitary exploration that stands out is embarking on a solo cruise. A solo cruise in 2024 offers a unique opportunity for self-discovery, for adventure, and of course for relaxation. Here we explore the top 10 reasons why solo cruising is an enticing option for those seeking independence and a memorable journey. Number one, unmatched freedom and flexibility. One of the foremost advantages of embarking on a solo cruise is the unparalleled freedom it offers. Solo travelers have the liberty to set their own itinerary, choose activities that align with their interests and savor the luxury of not adhering to group schedules, which of course can be one of the most irritating things of any travel anywhere. This level of flexibility allows for a truly personalized and stress-free vacation experience. It is something you should consider when taking a solo cruise. Number two, cultural immersion. A solo cruise provides an excellent opportunity to immerse oneself in diverse cultures. Whether exploring vibrant port cities, or engaging in onboard cultural activities, solo travelers can connect with locals and fellow passengers, fostering a deeper understanding of the destinations they visit. This cultural immersion adds a rich layer to the overall cruise experience. It's also something that's allowed me the opportunity to make friends worldwide. Number three, introspection and self-discovery. Traveling alone encourages introspection and self-discovery. A solo cruise provides a tranquil setting for passengers to reflect, set personal goals, and gain a better understanding of themselves. The solitude of the open sea becomes a canvas for self-exploration, promoting personal growth and resilience. One of my favorite things to do is to wake up especially early when we are at sea and to watch the sunrise from a balcony or an open deck and to peacefully reflect on my life and think about the choices I've made and the things still to come. It helps me put things in order for myself. It helps me prepare for the future because when you are away at sea, with no distractions in front of you, and it's just you and the sunrise, it's an excellent opportunity to be grateful and to grow. Number four, customized adventure. Solo cruising allows individuals to curate their own adventure. From choosing excursions and activities to deciding on dining preferences, solo travelers have the autonomy to tailor their cruise experience to match their desires. This customization ensures that each day at sea is uniquely fulfilling. Whether it's an excursion that I want to go on that I know nobody in my family and no friends I would ever take a cruise with would ever want to go on, or when it comes down to things like where I'd like to have dinner. Am I in the mood for casual dining, maybe a sit-down meal in the dining room itself, or am I going to move on through the buffet, pick up what I want, 
Or is there even an opportunity for me to order up some room service and have a night in, maybe with a movie and the balcony door open with the crashing waves nearby? On a solo cruise, it's all up to me. Number five, networking opportunities. Contrary to popular belief, solo cruising is not isolated. Onboard activities, group excursions, and shared dining experiences provide ample opportunities for solo travelers to meet like-minded individuals from around the globe. These chance encounters often lead to lasting friendships and shared memories. I know for myself, every cruise line I have been on in the last two years as a solo has had a designated solo meetup throughout the day, scheduled and ready for anyone who would like to attend to show up. It's a great way to get to know other solo travelers and to be inspired, to understand why people solo travel and what it means to them. Many share some of the same things that I am sharing with you here today. Number six, cost efficiency. Solo cruising can be surprisingly cost-effective. Cruise lines are increasingly recognizing the growing demand for solo travel and are offering more affordable single occupancy options. Take, for example, Norwegian Cruise Line. They are expanding their solo studio format across many of their newer ships. In addition to that, several cruise lines are now even dropping the double occupancy rate the closer it gets to sail away time just to fill a cabin. Solo cruisers can enjoy the same amenities and experiences as their coupled or group counterparts without incurring additional charges. Number seven, safety and security. Cruise ships are known for their stringent safety measures and security protocols. Solo travelers can take comfort in the fact that they are in a controlled and secure environment. Crew staff are trained to ensure the well-being of all passengers, providing peace of mind for those exploring the world alone. Number 8. Stress-Free Planning Planning a solo cruise is remarkably stress-free. With most details, including accommodations, dining, and entertainment, conveniently arranged by the cruise line, solo travelers can focus then on enjoying the journey without the hassles of intricate travel planning. Now, as ships do become larger and the customer base grows on board each ship, it is important to realize that some cruise lines do require you to book in advance when it comes to making reservations for things like specialty entertainment or specialty dining. Every cruise line is a little different, so they're not all like this. However, the majority of cruise lines I travel on seem to have a variety of options in the evening with no reservations needed. You just show up a little early to get a seat. Number nine, luxurious amenities. Solo cruisers are not deprived of luxury. Modern cruise ships boast an array of amenities from spas and fitness centers to gourmet dining and entertainment options. Solo travelers can indulge in these luxurious offerings, enhancing their cruise experience to the fullest. As cruise ships grow, so do the specialty options, both in entertainment, recreation, and dining. It's up to you if you'd like to take advantage of these additional specialty upcharge options or not. I have done so on many a cruises, and I can say that while they do add some icing on the cake, as it were, it's not necessary in order to enjoy the luxury of the rest of the ship. However, a thermal sweet pass for the week of your cruise or an occasional massage is just what the doctor ordered. Number 10, personal empowerment. Ultimately, solo cruising is a journey of personal empowerment. Facing the unknown, Navigating unfamiliar destinations and making decisions independently contribute to a sense of self-reliance. 
solo cruisers return home with a newfound confidence, having conquered challenges and embraced the freedom of solo exploration. One of the very best parts about solo cruising is that you don't have to constantly worry about fulfilling somebody else's agenda. Nobody is in your travel party except you. You move at your own pace. You do the things you wish to do. Your desires are fulfilled only because you choose to fulfill them. A solo cruise allows you to get away from it all and to take on anything you want that lies in front of you. There are few things more fulfilling than the freedom of exploration. And as promised, my preferred cruise line when it comes to solo travel in 2024. Before we dive into it, I just want to make sure that I'm clear here. Things change at a record pace now in the cruise industry. That includes amenities, perks, extras, things that used to be free are no longer that way, and things that used to have a charge sometimes become free. It's a unique time, as many of the cruise lines are very much on course to try and recoup the losses from the last few years of very restrictive policies and their inability to make money the way they used to. So as of right now, here's my personal choice. Obviously, cruising solo can be a liberating and fulfilling experience. And when it comes to solo cruising, Princess Cruise Line stands out as an ideal choice. Embarking on a solo adventure with Princess offers a unique blend of luxury, comfort, and enriching experiences that cater specifically to the needs and preferences of solo travelers. One of the primary reasons why Princess Cruise Line is perfect for solo cruisers, or at least this solo cruiser, is the welcoming and inclusive atmosphere on board. The cruise line is renowned for its friendly and attentive staff, ensuring that solo travelers feel not only comfortable, but also valued. From the moment you step on board, you'll be greeted with warmth and hospitality, making it easy to connect with fellow passengers and forge new friendships. Solo cruisers often seek a balance between solitude and social interaction. I know that's true for me. Princess Cruise Lines understands this dynamic, providing a range of activities and events designed for solo travelers. Whether you prefer to relax by the pool, attend enriching lectures, or participate in organized social gatherings, Princess Cruise Lines ensures there's always something to suit your individual preferences. When I think about the staterooms on Princess, I always think about what a great value they turn out to be. Not only do you get a lot of space, but you get one of the most celebrated beds at sea. And I mean that. The Princess mattresses are well celebrated for many reasons. I invite you to look into it yourself. But from your interior staterooms to your balcony staterooms to your mini suites that are very popular on Princess, the luxury is always extended throughout and always feels upscale. I'll also share with you another reason why I prefer Princess over the rest right now. When it comes to the amenities being offered, they are unmatched. Now, yes, Princess is not immune from a lot of the upcharges that much of the industry has decided to go through in the last few years in order to recoup their costs from the prior years of restrictive cruising or not being able to cruise at all. Princess made some changes themselves this past year that proved to be unpopular, but people are mostly rolling with, and I think it's because Princess continues to be the best value at sea. For a premium cruise brand that Princess considers themselves to be, you still get an awful lot when it comes to the Princess Plus package. Now, you can choose to go ahead and cruise on Princess with a standard flat rate that everything else, including crew gratuity, will have to be added to on top of that rate. Or you can choose the Princess Plus or Princess Premier option that will give you even more from things like your Wi-Fi included to your crew gratuity included. All the drinks you want are included. Specialty desserts are a part of that. 
casual dining is a part of that at some of their onboard restaurants that, yes, once used to be free, but now they are coupled into this package to increase that value for the package. Fitness classes are also a part of the Princess Plus and Premier package as well. The very best thing that a Princess Cruise comes with that makes life so much easier is their Medallion Class Experience. Now available, I believe, on almost every ship in the fleet, the Medallion itself is something that is sent to you prior to your cruise, and you use it for everything from boarding the ship, to getting off the ship, to getting a drink, to even having room service delivered to you, even if you're not in your room. That's right, service to wherever you are on the ship comes straight to you. If you just tap a couple of options on your phone, they'll find you via the medallion. The medallion saves a lot of time, and when you are traveling, when you are trying to make the most of a vacation, there's nothing better than the medallion itself because of the time that it saves. So I would highly encourage you to check out that as an option in your next solo cruise, because by and large, even though I add the Princess Plus package on top of the base fare, nine times out of 10, if you sell at the right times of the year, your winter, your late fall, and sometimes even early spring, you might be surprised to find, much like I do, that the cost of a Princess Cruise oftentimes, even with this plus package added on, is comparable to other cruise baseline rates. That's right, with Princess Plus, I often find that it is comparable to the baseline rates on other cruise lines where I'm not even paying for all the extras that I get included with Princess. That is something that is worth such a tremendous value and makes a huge difference in my cruise experience as a solo. Princess Cruise Lines is also known for its diverse and delectable culinary offerings. Solo cruisers can indulge in a culinary journey around the world, savoring exquisite dishes crafted by skilled chefs. The Cruise Lines' commitment to culinary excellence ensures that solo travelers can enjoy a wide range of dining options, from your casual to your fine dining, making every meal a delightful experience. And I have to say, on the newer ships, especially the Discovery Princess that I've become quite fond of, they have one of the best laid out buffets I've ever seen with some of the most options I've ever come across. That is the way you design a buffet atmosphere. Kudos to the Discovery Princess and that class of ship for designing the buffets the right way. I wish a lot of other cruise lines would take note. Something else that really stands out to me about Princess is the low-key, very chill vibe of the ship. Now, I would like to point out that it tends to be a cruise line that skews older when it comes to clientele. And while I wouldn't consider myself to be in the age bracket that I typically see on a Princess cruise, it isn't a party ship. It isn't an atmosphere that stays up late. It isn't even an atmosphere that gets all that loud very often. And it allows the ocean to really become the star of the experience. It's something I greatly enjoy and something that I find to be very tranquil, very serene, and allows me to feel rested and rejuvenated by the end of the cruise. I have been on many ships before that have rock walls and go-karts and parties every night, and it just seems like most cruise ships have become quite the party atmosphere, which is fine. There's a place for that too. But Princess seems to be a very slow pace when it comes to the overall experience, and that's a compliment. Moreover, Princess Cruise Line boasts an array of destinations and itineraries, allowing solo cruisers to explore new cultures and new landscapes. Whether you seek the vibrant energy of a bustling city or the tranquility of a tropical paradise, Princess Cruise Lines offers a variety of routes that cater to diverse interests and preferences quite like mine i've taken them to the caribbean i've taken them to alaska taken them to the mexican riviera and so many more destinations and i always feel well taken care of you know cruising solo with princess cruise line is a pretty exceptional experience in my own view and that combines the luxury the inclusivity the adventure of it all the cruise line's commitment to creating a welcoming environment for solo travelers, coupled with some 
top-notch amenities, some diverse itineraries, and a lot of the extras that they still give you, whereas you don't get them anymore anywhere else. It comes down to value. It makes it the perfect choice for those seeking a solo cruise tailored to their unique desires. Embark on a journey with Princess Cruise Line and discover the joy of solo cruising in unparalleled style and comfort. You'll feel right at home. And if I know Princess the way I think I do, you'll be booking another Princess Cruise before you even get home from your current one. I want to thank you for sticking with me today through this top 10 list of reasons to go on a solo cruise in 2024. And certainly, it does not have to be on a Princess cruise ship. I am not endorsed or supported by Princess in any way. I just wanted to share with you my own experience lately in the cruise universe as things have changed quite rapidly. And while it's always better to be on a cruise ship rather than anywhere else, doesn't matter to me what brand, just as long as I get on one. And I'm off and solo cruising again to have some fun. I hope you'll consider taking a solo cruise in 2024. There really is no better value for the money overall, especially with inflation the way that it is. A cruise experience right now is one of the best things you can do for yourself as a solo traveler. Good luck to you, and let me know what your preferred solo cruise line is. I would love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time on The Solo Cruiser.